Hey folks, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, Bob Walker, you posted this in the Growth Vault asking how many uh, or how much were you doing in revenue when you had two people in the field supporting you or how many crews did you need? Um, because I, I've had three people running pretty much all year. Um, the third person really, um, it was nice to be able to have him deal with some of the other smaller stuff. Um, but we're going to finish the year really with with the main rig doing probably 180 190 thousand dollars and the other rig doing probably 25 thirty thousand um that that is more than enough to support me um and to pay my guys um you know one's making 15 one's making 18 third guy was making 15 but he's gone now um so i mean the the plan here next year will be to do half a million um, honestly with the way that our flatbed truck is set up, um, and once we have everything firing on all cylinders, um, that truck alone is going to bring in two fifty to 300,000. Um, just plain and simple, get it done. Um, so, I mean, my goal was originally to have all three guys stick around, um, all three guys be leads and have helpers with them. Um, and We'll probably still at the very least run two trucks next year um, in the spring. Um, you know, as needed, I can always tow the small trailer. Um, I bought two more pressure washers and everything. But I mean, for me, I think the what you have to figure out is what do you need to live off of. So let's say you need fifty grand, and your helpers are probably gonna, you know, I'll, I'll let's say twenty five to thirty grand for um, employee. I mean, fifteen dollars an hour. 2000 hours a year um, is 30 grand. So you need to be doing, I would say, close to 150 um, to not be out there in the field and to have your guys doing all the production. Um, again, that's just a rough number. Um, you know, if you are cool with living off of 40,000 or if you want to live off of 70,000, $80,000, then obviously that, that changes the the number and gross revenue that you need to be doing in order for um for you to not be actually washing um again the, this entire year uh, up until november 4th i had a full-time job at verizon um so my guys doing all this work in the field uh was great i was certainly i've i've probably i don't know taken twenty twenty five thousand dollars out of the business this year. Um, but by having that full-time job, I was still able to allow the bulk of that money to go back into new equipment, upgrades, uh, new systems, you know, other machines and things and have that extra, um, money set aside to put back into the company. Um, and I, I've heard a lot with Josh Latimer and Chris Cyberini's, um, uh, talking about, you know, and and even you would have talked about um, Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, eat shit for breakfast um, and part of my language. But, you know, it, just deal with a crappy life for a longer period of time and then you can just dump so much more. If you're willing to sacrifice now, if you're willing to not eat, you know, like somebody who's bringing in $100,000 in pressure washing revenue, um and eat like somebody who's doing, you know, 25, 30 grand, um, do that for a couple years and you'll be able to throw so much more money and get so much more momentum in your business than you otherwise would have been able to without doing that. So anyways, I hope that helps. Again, this number is always going to be different for everyone. It really comes down to, again, what you want to make, how much you're going to pay your guys, um, and, and you know, how long your season is quite frankly. I mean, if you're in a year long area versus, um, seasonal. I mean, we'll wash, we'll wash full time for 10 months a year, two months a year. We're going to be running about 50, 60%, um, you know, booked. And then the rest of the year we're fully booked. Um, and you know, that, that's where you also have to look at how much money are you guys bringing in a day? Um, our goal is a thousand dollars, thousand to fifteen hundred which is easy in the warmer months um right now we're probably averaging closer to eight hundred to eleven hundred um in that range 
Um, some days are better, some days are worse, um, but that's about what we're averaging right now. So anyways, hope that helps.